I was so excited when Modern Warfare dropped. You know, I've been playing COD since I was 12. I mean, we're going way back in the day, man. I'm an old fuck, straight up dinosaur. And I've been playing COD forever, man. The amount of days I have played on COD, had I invested it into something productive with my life, I could be running the fucking world by now. Like, if I had studied medicine with the amount of time I spent playing COD, I could be curing cancer. You know, I mean, we're talking about an absurd amount of time, hundreds of days played on multiple titles. Even the games I didn't like, I still grinded the fuck out of them. Um, I, you know, I kind of took some breaks here there, but man, I've been dedicated as hell. The only times I've ever quit Call of Duty is Call of Duty Ghost 1 and Call of Duty Ghost 2, a.k.a. Modern Warfare, a.k.a. Royal Dog Shit on a Stick, a.k.a. Joe Seesaw's Worst Nightmare. His gift to the Call of Duty community that is just so unbelievably bad. And I'm going to get into the reason why I absolutely despise it. And the reason I, I feel so impassioned right now is because I was watching the event up in Minnesota. I don't know if you know about it, but um, Minnesota Rocker were putting on a big event. All the teams came in, pulled up, were playing on this competitive Call of Duty. You know, this alpha competitive Call of Duty game title created by Straight Up Geniuses. And, uh, man, watching it actually hurt my soul just to see how bad it is. You know, imagine playing a Zier Cave for thousands of dollars. I mean, right? Imagine that. There's no way anyone could ever, ever do that. <laughs> yeah, they were. Um, and watching it in action was just like, it was just one giant fucking train wreck after another. The main issue, as we've all known since the beta, is the map flow, or the lack thereof. And, and that goes back to their new pandering. Um, you know, the new pandering garbage that's been in, in every Call of Duty for the last several years, but in this game, they really upped it, and, and so, Black Ops 4, you had stuff like, uh, you know, the OP specialists, and the easy streaks with score streaks, EKIA, things that kind of give bad players a boost, but this year, we have a game fundamentally designed to help bad players in every single way. And they did that through randomness, through making the maps just a clusterfuck, making them unpredictable because of how many angles you can be shot from, removing the prediction aspect of FPS, which is one of the main draws of an FPS. It's, you know, it's not supposed to be that random. Obviously, there are going to be times where you get caught slipping, times where, you know, you walk past the wrong corner, times where you make a bad read, make a mistake, things that you can't control. But to make a game where you can't control anything is just a straight-up joke. And I was watching it, and it was so disappointing to see how professional Call of Duty players who do this for a living were oftentimes absolutely clueless on where to go or what to do. Running around like chickens with, with no head because spawns didn't make sense, because there's too many angles to cover on the map. I mean, you want to talk about spawns being nonsense, go, go find those VODs and watch some of the dominations. I've never seen such consistently horrible spawns. In any game mode of my life, you know, you have people spawning, you know, enemy players spawning at the same flag. You you know, you've got, all, all it takes is you to just look at the other team's spawn, and you'll get a, a, a enemy spawning in your spawn, and then there's squad spawning, so that, that brings the whole gang back with them. You end up with, you know, you'll have full A and B control, the other team is back at C, someone makes, you know, one step over the... 20 yard line and is sort of kind of maybe in the enemy spawn vicinity and all of a sudden five motherfuckers are behind you you know i was watching players who have been grinding cod at a professional level for the last decade looking the wrong direction in a domination watching the push from a as the other team pushed from c and it just it just crushed me um to see that because if the best players in the game can't tell what to what what flag the other team's coming from in domination, then you have done something absurdly wrong, and uh, it's just it's just pathetic to see it. You know, I'm a domination head when it comes to pubs. You know, the last time the domination was in a game I competed in was Black Ops One. So it's not like I have a lot of competitive experience with domination, but it's my primary public game mode. Um, when I'm not playing like Nuketown 24/7, I play domination. And I always know where the other team is coming from. It's really not difficult at all. It's very, very simple. 
the rules of engagement, the rules of where you know how to how to manipulate spawns are very crisp, very clear. It is extremely easy to read it, and yet watching at the event, watching the, the these teams, these pro teams, trying to figure out the spawns, it was it was just a uh, coin coin flips, RNG coin flips over and over again. And on the other extreme, in the hard point, you've got spawns that are magnetized to the objective. You'd have teams slaying out three, four waves of the other team. You know, like Team A absolutely clears Team B four times off the hill. But Team B is still there, still spawning. One, you know, you'll get four down, but the fifth guy spawns up, like, from, from the previous kill wave. And then you get squad spawns in the back, and it's just never-ending. You end up with one team popping 20, 25 kills on a hill, and not even able to get inside of it. Uh, so you have two different extremes in that, and it all and it all adds in compiles. It just makes things worse when you look at the lack of map flow I was talking about before. God damn! Just looking at the just look at the maps, man. How many angles you can get shot from on every map on every push is just absurd. The more random it is, the more angles you can get shot from. The less predictability is in it, the lower the skill gap. I mean, and you can say that it's tactical gameplay, but there's nothing tactical about flipping a coin every time you walk out of a door. You know, watching that event, it, it, it really um, cemented what I felt about Modern Warfare as a game, which is that it fucking sucks, man. It's fucking terrible. You know, I have never quit a Call of Duty in my life before the first month. You know, I have not played Call of Duties when I was in college. I didn't really buy Ghosts. I, I quit Ghosts after about a month of playing, but it was far after it came out. Hated that game. So, I mean, I guess there's another game I quit in almost as short a time. But still, not three weeks. It took me about a month. You know, that game was equally dog shit. But other than that, I've played every every Call of Duty title for a very large amount of time. I mean, even, even Jetpack games, which I wasn't a huge fan of. Advanced Warfare, Black Ops 3. IW didn't play it, but that's because we had we had Modern Warfare Remastered, which I loved, and that's that should go to show you that I'm not some crackhead jetpacker. Oh, and by the way, coming up in just a second in this gameplay, I fast forward a chunk of time. I got nine banged crossbowed, and my controller died, and I got flamethrowered. So I just kind of said fuck it and just 16 times fast forward. So that's what that little bit was. But yeah. Man, I've grinded the fuck out of every Call of Duty, and I'm just, I'm looking at this, at these pro players who are disgusting, and I'm a competitive player, so I know what it takes to be one of those guys, and I understand the amount of work and the IQ, the the game sense, the game knowledge, the the skill, the, the will of these guys to grind day in, day out, absurd amounts of time, and they can't even tell what side people are coming from in Domination. And the maps are so bad, you have guys just walking out blindly, hoping they don't get shot like it's Viet fucking Nam. They might as well have that, have that, uh, oh, another controller disconnect, by the way. They might as well have Fortunate Sons playing with motherfuckers flying on the helicopter, hoping they don't get shot out of the fucking treetops, man. And you can tell the pro players hate this shit, too, if you look at their tweets, dude. The guys who really grind the game professionally, they fucking hate it. Everybody hates it except for the lowest skilled people, because that's who they made the game for. That's why it's so random. It's all by design. It's not incompetence. Don't, asp don't ascribe to, to incompetence with these people what you can ascribe to greed. And, and player retention rates, keeping the bad people playing, that's a strategy that every single AAA game, every AAA multiplayer game is employing these days. So with that, man, I'm fucking done, dude. Enjoy the video. If you want to like, if you want to subscribe, feel free. If not, it's all good, brother. Thanks for watching. You have a good motherfucking day. Peace.